Welcome in guys. We got a new video for you on a brand new mode that's just been uh, publicized. Uh, <clears throat> it's not a full-blown release for the software. It's a release candidate WSJTX 2.1.0 RC5 and it brings us the new mode FT4. Now FT4 is kind of a new uh, iteration of FT8. Uh, one of the benefits of it, it's two and a half times faster than FT8, six second cycle time, four seconds of transmit, so you can really complete an entire QSO in under 20 seconds, 18 seconds, and you got somebody in the log. That's pretty darn quick. That's really, that's pretty much faster than uh, CW. So it was available today. I saw emails uh, this morning already coming out, of people starting to get on it. So I got home today I went and downloaded it, installed it, got it running. Uh, didn't read any of the, the paperwork with manuals on it. I probably should have. I've actually started to glance at those. But it's not a full-blown version. It's a release candidate. But in typical Joe Taylor fashion, it's, it's, it's solid. So I'm going to invite you to go ahead and download the new version when you're ready. Check out FT4, and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. It's uh, I got on it, and it was just wow. I was I was blown away how quick it was. Uh, you call CQ. I had two or three guys respond to me at a time. It's, uh, and that's 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 pretty doggone amazing. So, is it the death of FT8? Not quite yet. I don't think there's some other little things. And once we're in a full release, uh, we're going to do something a little more in depth. But for now, I just want to show it to you. So I went and got on the radio, played with it, uh, took some video, recorded that. So let's head on back and do that right now. All right, guys. So here what happened today. Uh, the release of WSJTX 2.1.0 RC5. Now, remember, this is a release candidate. It's not the final version. So there's probably going to be some little quirks and et cetera. And I've already found a couple uh, jumping right over uh, like this. If you're changing the bands, this has not been set up yet. I would imagine in the full release that will be. Um, so this always shows red, but it's normally uh, like the normal FT8 is uh, 14.070. They're up about 10 kilohertz. Not that big a deal. It's easy to find. And as you can see, jumping around, there is a ton of activity. Uh, just since I got home, uh, in just a couple of minutes, I downloaded it, got it running, and made four cues, just boom. I called CQ one time, and I had about three people each time I called CQ. I only did it a couple times. Three people coming back to me. So it's hopping, man. It's exciting. So why don't we, let's, uh, let's see if we can pick a frequency there. Oops. I always get those backwards. Let's just call CQ. Now this is FT4, so the turnaround time is crazy, crazy quick. That was it. <laughs> the time you heard to go silence to that. So we're calling CQ. We we're pointed uh, kind of about 60, 70 degrees. So we're a little pointed towards Europe. And they were booming in earlier. And over here, you can see, there we go. There's an Italian just answered me. And I like this button. I haven't looked through the help file yet, but I'm guessing this is the best signal um, selector. So if you get multiples calling you instead of just the first call, you can, you can pick the loudest one and start there. Now, look, we have already got a uh, QSO in the log already. So let's just do it again. I'll turn the monitor on. I don't know if you can. You can probably hear a little bit of that. I'll turn the, um, there's another Italian. I'll turn the gain up so you can hear a little bit what this sounds like and how quick the transmit time is.
Oops, I hit the wrong button there. Oh well. There's somebody else already answered me. Now, it doesn't look like JT Alert's been updated to accommodate this mode. I don't know how it would. Um, that's something we need to talk to them about because uh, it's it's doing some weird stuff down here. But I mean, stuff's coming in so fast. I don't know if it's going to have time to process it. But this mode already is just boom. There we go. It's just amazing. Uh, this could be the FT8 killer. I don't know why you would. FT8 came back. Why would you go back to JT65 with that long of a um, exchange period? That's, and then not a lot of people back on JT65. FT's out. Boom. Balls to the wall. It's amazing. It's great. So now we're in FT4. This could be the FT8 killer. I don't think the mode is going anywhere, but. I think it's going to be harder to find people on it, kind of like PSK. Uh, but this is faster. Uh, uh, they're getting up in the speeds, about the speed of like Riddy. So let's just. This is going to be great for contesting. Just sit here and boom, 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 and knock these things out. This is, I'm, I'm almost blown away. And this isn't a full blown release yet. But K1JT does real good work. So I have no problem that the software is going to operate flawlessly once I get a full release out. Uh, you can go download it now. Just go to his website in the description below. Uh, this particular version is good. I think uh, when it started up, it said June 7th is when it will stop working. And that's just the way they keep people uh, on some um, the current version, especially for release candidates and beta versions and, and things like that. But this right now is just this is this is pretty awesome. Just the activity. And I'm calling CQ. I think we're starting to lose propagation. I can't wait to see what happens on like 40 meters tonight. Oh, there we go. A G0 is coming back. And they're good signals. Minus one. Ah, this is this is pretty awesome. This is getting closer closer and closer to that instant gratification and I mean working DX all you care about is the signal report anyway it's sad but that that seems to be the truth well I guy started working somebody else he calls me <laughs> so we'll get back into it here there we go now he replies to me and boom and we're done but it's fast paced it's not like sitting here falling asleep waiting on something to happen so this is um this is even cooler than FT8, and I thought FT8 was pretty doggone cool. But and just look at the activity. Look at the activity on the scope on the uh, waterfall here. That's a lot going on. Now I know it's 20 meters, and there's always a lot going on on 20. But let's um, let's do it again. I'll call CQ again. Now my receive frequency is moving. My transmit hasn't, so I'm not worried about walking on people. You can see that right up here and there's the receive so we're not really we're not transmitting down there that receive will jump around and wherever anybody answers you don't have to be dead on there's another Italian just boom a big signal a minus one that is a big big signal so we got a six second Transmit received. So, you know, 15 seconds, you can be done with QSO. 20 seconds. But it's just, you know, I'm just going to hit CQ again and we'll work a couple more. But this, this is, this is pretty cool. Let's see if we can work one more. There we go. We got two people that responded to us and, uh, We're going to go after the French guy, the F4. They're both at minus 14. I guess he was the first one in line, which he was. So we'll finish him up. I think people are still getting used to the software, so there's, there's a little like hesitation or on some people or if something happens. 
we're just gonna go ahead and log this guy so we'll call CQ one more time one last time as uh, just get on it guys this is this is the next digital mode I think this is the next digital mode I, well, it is the next digital mode. We'll see actually what happens with it. But I, it's, if it's anything like FT8, it's going to be amazing. It's really, you only transmit about four seconds. Then it, there's not, see, there's two guys responded right there. And that one's already done, so. We'll go after this guy. And that one's done. So this is absolutely phenomenal it's amazing good stuff if you want to work some new countries this is fast paced it's exciting i'm sitting here i'm excited um as soon as i did i started getting emails this morning uh from the dx uh reflector the uh, cdxa reflector about people on it said there were about 30 guys on it i don't know that was probably 10 or 11 o'clock this morning and so as soon as i got home i downloaded installed it and got it going had to do a few audio tweaks um, not that unusual I haven't worked with the program in a while so that's okay uh, got that set back up and just wanted to hop on and like let's see what see what's going on and I, I listen to the activity and how fast paced it is it's this is good this is good and um, you know the purpose was to get it up to where you can get the QSO rate of ready and for contesting I think we've gotten it there um, it's a lot going on you know it's a lot of stuff to look at the biggest the biggest uh, challenge probably you're gonna have is focusing on uh, really it's this stuff and however you have your colors up people calling you the rest of the stuff over here you worry about that later if you're in QSO and people are calling you just keep working them over here you know on the right but so there we go WSJTX version 2.1.0 release candidate 5 it's uh, available for download today looks like it's going to work till uh, early June and we should have a full release by then and I'm, I'm very excited very very excited <laughs> 